Hello and welcome to Skipping Excel. My name's Jeff. I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. Excel is used for all sorts of things like budgeting, reporting, bank recs, and more. And sometimes it's simply used as a bridge between two applications. Like you export something, you clean it up in Excel, and then you need to import it into another system. As an example, maybe you export transactions from an e-commerce system into Excel, clean it up, and then upload it into an accounting system like QuickBooks. And when you use Excel like this as a way to sort of transport data from one system to another, you may be able to skip Excel altogether. Wait, what? Yeah, seriously. In this series, I'm going to share all the details for how I took a 30 minute a day process down to 15 minutes a day, then down to five minutes a day, then down to zero minutes a day. All right. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So I'd like to start by showing you the very manual version of this process. This was the process that was taking me about 30 minutes a day. Basically, I would get a sale in my e-commerce system and I would need to get that into my accounting system, which happens to be QuickBooks. So the first sort of iteration of this process that I was able to get from 30 to 15 to five to zero started by a copy paste. When a sale would come in, I'd open up my e-commerce system. I would basically then copy and paste, right? And then I'd go back over here, do another copy, do another paste. Cruise back over here, do a copy, do a paste. And then I would click on save. And that would usually take me around 30 minutes a day, of course, depending on the number of sales. I quickly grew tired of that, so I decided to streamline this a little bit. So the next iteration was doing things in batches at the end of the day. So let me show you what that looked like. All right, so I figured I could do this in batches at the end of the day, and this cut my time in half. Maybe it would take me about 15 minutes a day. And what it looked like is at the end of the day, I would log into my e-commerce system. I would download all the orders into a CSV file, and then I need to get it into the format required by QuickBooks to be uploaded. So QuickBooks provides a sample format that's required. Uh, so that we can upload it into QuickBooks. And so this would require some amount of manual cleanup. For example, I'd have to remove rows that I didn't need. I'd have to remove columns that I didn't need. I'd have to get the formatting just right. I'd have to move the columns in the right order and things like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly reformat this. I'll speed the video up so it doesn't take so long to watch. Okay, now that I've done all that cleanup, now we would go to QuickBooks and do an import. So now that our data is formatted in the correct format, we would just browse to our CSV file, click next, walk through the import wizard, and those sales records are then imported. That was taking about 15 minutes a day, which was a vast improvement. I saved half the time, but then I wanted to optimize this process even more. So the next improvement that I made was using Power Query to do the cleanup instead of manually doing the cleanup. So let's do that part right now, because I was able to use Power Query to get this process down to five minutes a day. So the first step is to, to pull in the CSV file that I've downloaded through Power Query and clean it up on its way in. Get data from file from CSV. SV. So we select the file and click import, and then I click transform. What I could simply do is do those cleanup steps once, and then Power Query will apply those same steps to any future files that I download and save in the same folder with the same file name. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up so it doesn't take as long. All right, once I have all the columns all ready to go, then I can just close and load to. I select table, existing worksheet, and I click OK. Now the data is in the format needed by the QuickBooks import, so I simply do a file, save as. I save it as a CSV file and click save. And then back in QuickBooks, that's the file that I would browse to and complete the upload process. Now, the reason using Power Query saves time is because once I've set up the query, all I have to do in future periods is click refresh. So I don't have to manually do that cleanup anymore. So let me show you what that looks like. So what I do is I would export a new file. I would save it to the same folder and use the same file name as before. And then all I have to do is right click and refresh. 
and Power Query does its thing, and now it's cleaned up, and now I can upload it. So by using Power Query, instead of manually cleaning up all the columns, I was able to take a 15-minute process down to five minutes, okay? So that was great, and I used that for a while. And then I discovered some tools that helped me take this from a five-minute-a-day process down to zero minutes a day. In the interest of time, I've split this up into three videos. So this was the first video, and this showed how I took the process from 30 minutes a day to 15 minutes a day to five minutes today with Power Query. In the next video, we're going to talk about the other tools that help me get it down to zero minutes. All right. Thanks so much for joining. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University. 